Safety is a big word on everyone's minds this weekend at the governor's deer opener, and it's not just important for the hunters. As our Scott Sheehan tells us, it's important for the hunters to also protect the area's deer population. Safety is the theme this weekend at the governor's deer opener in Bemidji. Minnesota's Department of Natural Resources is making sure safety is on the forefront. Minnesota's got really a phenomenal record for hunter safety and it, it really goes back a long time. Uh, we have since the 1970s, I believe, required that hunters get a firearm safety certificate before they can buy a license. Landwehr says there's three tips novice or first time hunters should keep in mind during this year's governor's deer opener. One, be safe, wear orange and know the safety rules. Two, know the laws and the difference between public and private lands. And three, get a map. We have an abundance of really good places to hunt in Minnesota. Public lands, uh, whether it's state forest, national forest, county forest. And so uh, get a good map that will identify where those places are and you'll have uh, just a, an um, astounding number of places to, to go hunt. Hunters aren't the only ones the DNR wants to protect during this weekend's deer opener. They also want to make sure the deer population is sustainable for next season. The deer populations are lower than what we would like right now. And so we do want to rebuild the, the herd. And that's what this year is all about. It's about rebuilding the herd. The DNR issued a conservative number of tags for this season, especially with the does. The purpose again is to bring more does through to the spring. So there'll be more fawns next year. We'll rebuild that herd. And the next year will be in a much better place than this year. This year at the governor's deer opener, the hunter will be in charge of the safety of other hunters as well as the deer population. From the governor's deer opener, Scott Sheehan, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.